TFWire.com Video Review. Hey guys, uh, coming at you here with a video review for Voyager Incinerator from the movie line. Now, Voyager Incinerator is a Osprey, as you can see. An Osprey is a vertical landing, or a VTOL, vertical takeoff and landing vehicle that was developed by the, I believe it was the Navy. Could be wrong on that. I don't really know. Didn't check my facts, of course. He has um, some nice little landing gears here that actually roll really well. In this form, he has only one feature, which is the AWAC unit back here, which you pull back, and it kind of spins the blades. Unfortunately, they don't keep spinning. Once you let go, they just stop, which is really bad, because it takes away from the, from the toy completely. Personally, that's just me. I don't know if a kid would find it cool, but I find it kind of annoying. Uh, now, one thing I noticed about the packaging was the blades were actually taken off. They're just little blue nubs that the blades are attached to. These aren't coming off anytime soon. They were a mother of a hamster to get on. Um, but unfortunately, they're just not that fun. And you can put them down in vehicle mode. In fact, you could, if you wanted to, you can even point it down and cause an accident. But one thing I do like is there is a little piece of plastic on each wing right here that prevents you from going 360, which is actually kind of nice. Other than that, um, it's not too bad. It's kind of boring looking though. No real fun look to it. It's got the typical all spark power blue, which is absolutely disgusting. And it has no business being on a transformer because it looks absolutely hideous with the other colors. But uh, so let's go ahead and transform this. First thing you're going to do is take the figure and quite literally see if you can split this right down, split this right down the center. And actually, let me zoom out here because the figure's a little bigger. So what uh, I do is I just grab it and split, push it like that, and that splits it right away, and then raises up the hip right there. Next thing you're going to do is just fold these out like that. And then just kind of get in here. I don't know if this is an automorph or not, but kind of just get in here and fold these guys out of the way thusly. Rotate the leg all the way around, or rotate this all the way around like that. And then just kind of fold it. Oop, sorry, you guys couldn't see that. Just kind of fold it like this. Flip out the feet and turn. And those are the legs. Next for the arms, quick, rotate them back like this. Turn them like that. Now the blades will turn on their own when you move them thusly. Then just kind of break them away from, don't break them, just kind of snap them away by breaking the wings up like that. And there are the arms and shoulders, thusly. Then take this whole section, and this is a little bit tricky. This is a little automorph right here. The one thing I forgot to say, it looks like on one guy in the store he had a pilot and this one he didn't. This will automatically split the cockpit thusly and it actually will attach right here in the crotch. So you get it, you kind of have to just push it down until it snaps in. There we have it. Incinerator. Uh, fun factoid, Incinerator was a previous a name that they were previously going to assign to Blackout, movie Blackout, but they decided not to. I think for the better. Uh, he's got 
some artic he's got full movement here, but every time you move any of the purple, um, his blades will automatically move, as you can see. I'm not pushing any buttons, it's automatically moving. And then his legs have a good range of articulation. His head can barely move. He doesn't really need to lean up against this back dorsal area. I mean, I you can't see it in the video in the video review, but he's not actually touching there. He's not touching at all along the back here, which is good. In this form, the gimmick still works, and it still underperforms, in my opinion. You hear that horrible clicking sound? Ugh. Um, all in all, he's not bad, but man, he takes up a lot of shelf space. These propeller blades take up so much shelf space. I mean, together, they're wider, they double the width of the figure. And that's, they just do, because of the size of the blades, which is accurate. I mean, in real life, the Osprey is huge, but the wings can fold up, or the blades can fold up, I believe. Could be wrong. I'm not a naval engineer. But he's not awful, but, man, he's pretty weak. I mean, he's got no hands. He can't, you can get some neat poses, I guess. I just haven't tried. But, I mean, the blades and this back, this back right here, really limit you to what posability the figure can have. Other than that, I would say uh, I'm 50-50 on whether to get him or not. If you can get him, if you really want to get him, go ahead and get him. Uh, I won't stop you, obviously, but it's not the best figure in the world. And really, I just wish the movie line would end because it's not really bringing any, anything great to the table. But... If I can get into the figure and fix this so that his blades continue to spin after I push the button like blackout, that'd be awesome. So, uh, I'd say just, you know, if you want to get him, get him. If he's not interesting to you, just don't bother. Catch you guys later.